Hi everybody, Coach Abby here. And if this is your first time joining me for a lesson, here are a few things to pay attention to. The pause symbol will mean one of three things. Pause, so you can find your materials. Pause, to participate in the activity. Or pause, to reflect on a moment within the lesson. The description box or the instructions. I'm gonna include a timestamp, which will let you know at what point in the video I was discussing certain topics just in case you had paused and lost your place and you don't want to start the video all over again to get to that same point within the lesson. Hello everyone, today's lesson is all about rolling. But what is rolling? And where do things roll? And what sports involve rolling? Take a second to think about those things and join me as we continue in this adventure of rolling. All right, let's learn how to roll our own pair of socks. So first thing you need are two socks. You want to have them long so you can have a bigger round surface to use. So you'll take your two socks, you're going to place them flat on top of each other. And then you're going to fold them three times. One, two, three. After you've rolled them three times, flip it over, you're going to look for the opening on the first sock. Once you do that, you're going to hold one part of that with your thumb, take the other part, and you're going to wrap it around the rest of the sock. And once you've done that, you're just going to kind of shape it into more of a ball. And that way, they stay. Here's our first round object. So let's do that again. So we'll unfold it. All right, here we go again. Take the sock, put it on top of the other sock. How many times are we gonna roll again or fold them? Three times. One, two, three. What's the next step? Hold the lip of the outside sock with your thumb and then pull this part right over the rest of the sock. Very good, everyone. And then we can just shape it so it's more of a round or circle object. Great job. Now let's talk more about rolling. Rolling is a low level activity that will have us pushing a ball or a round object on the floor towards an object using our dominant hand. So, I'm going to have my dominant hand have the piece of material, my left foot forward, and I'm going to get low, swing the ball or round object back, and push it towards my target. Now, you may have heard me use a word that you haven't heard before, and I use the word dominant hand. What's your dominant hand? Well, your dominant hand is a hand that you prefer to hold a pencil or a pen or a crayon in. The hand that I prefer to use is my right hand. So the hand that I would pick up a pen to write with, that's my dominant hand. The other hand is called non-dominant hand because you don't use it as much. Which hand is your dominant hand? For our first activity today, we're gonna start by rolling objects in general areas. That means there's no target we're just gonna roll three different objects. I hope you have yours picked out already. So the first object I'm gonna roll are my socks. Now remember I said to find your dominant hand. My dominant hand is my right hand, and this is how we're gonna get into proper stance, a position. So with the socks in my right hand, my opposite is my left foot. See, right hand, left foot. If I had the socks in my left hand, I use my right foot. So, my dominant hand is my right. I know it's my left foot, so I will have the socks in my one hand, my left hand is forward, and I'm going to take the socks back. Remember, I'm getting low, and I'm going to prepare to push it forward. So let me show you what that will look like. So, with the socks in my right hand, left foot forward, pull your hand back, and release and roll it forward. Very good. Let's try with our second piece of round material. I've chosen a tennis ball. 
All right, it's a little smaller, so let's roll it in general area. Two feet together, dominant hand, left foot forward, swing back, and release. Awesome. My third is just a little bigger ball. Same position, dominant hand, left foot forward, swing back, release low, follow through. Great job, everyone. Practice rolling your three objects in general area three times. Pause the video here so you can participate right now. Activity number two. Do you have your four objects that will stand up by themselves that are also lightweight? Let me give you an idea of what mine are. So I have our cardboard roll where the paper towels used to be. I have two empty water bottles and I have one long piece of paper that I taped together in like a cylinder. I see you so that they can stand up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up these objects in an area that is a safe distance away from us and will also challenge us. All right, so I'll set my first object right here, my second object here, third, here, fourth, here. Awesome. What you're gonna do now is take those same three objects we just used and you're going to try to hit these objects. So now that we have a target involved, what is another key step that will help us be successful in reaching our targets? It's going to be eye contact. Make sure your eye is on the target. Let me demonstrate. This is a distance that I feel will challenge me. So I'm going to have my socks, which I'm going to use first, and my dominant hand. Do you remember which hand is your dominant hand? I hope so. My dominant hand, which foot goes forward if my right hand is my dominant hand? My left foot, correct. And then my target is going to be the paper towel roll. So my eyes are going to be on the target. I'm going to take my hand and my dominant hand and I'm going to swing it back. And I'm still looking, if it helps the point you can, I'm looking at the cardboard roll and I'm going to release low. Yes, eye contact really works. Let's keep trying. I'm going to get a different piece of material and let's see which one I want to knock over next. Hmm. I'm gonna knock over the water bottle with the blue top. That's what I wanna try. So the ball's in my dominant hand. I'm going to lean down, point at the bottle, swing my hand backwards, and roll. Oh, sweet, I made it again. Awesome, let's see if we can keep doing this. My last object is my tennis ball. Now, what's the difference between this tennis ball and my other materials? It is a little bit smaller, so sometimes that can be more difficult. So you have to concentrate even more when you have smaller objects. So I'm gonna prepare myself. I have the ball in my dominant hand. My left foot is forward, creating more balance. I'm gonna point at my object, swing my arm back, swing low and release. Oh, I missed it and it's okay. Keep practicing, boys and girls. I'd like you to try to knock over your four lightweight items at least three times, all right? Have fun. Great job, boys and girls. Here are a few follow-up questions I'd like to ask you after you've completed your activity. Were your eyes on the target? Were you able to get close to your target? Were you able to knock anything down? Which objects work best for you? And would you change anything? Would you like more of a challenge for this activity? Try stepping back a little bit more to see if you're able to reach it from a further distance. Also, try setting up your targets in different areas. Your lightweight items, they don't have to be in a straight line. You can put them in a circle and try to focus on each target that are in different places. I hope you're enjoying learning how to roll. Here's one thing that you can do to continue to practice this skill. You and a family member or brother or sister, you all can continue to practice rolling. Have them stand still at first and roll it to that individual. And then for the next step, have them maybe move a couple steps to the left and to the right and roll it there and then maybe have them moving in motion and you track them with your eyes and try to roll it to that individual. Have fun, I can't wait to see how you made this game your own. Comment below what how you did that. Were you able to connect which sport goes with rolling? They rhyme actually, it's bowling. Did you know that a 23 year old man named Ben set the world record for the fastest 12 strikes? He made 12 strikes in 86.9 seconds. 
Wow, that's fast. All right, boys and girls, we're coming to an end here. And for your requirements, this is what I need you to do. For your seesaw activity, you're gonna be taking pictures of things. The first picture I need is a picture of your completed rolled up socks, the socks you rolled up all by yourself. The next thing I need is pictures of the two other items you chose, whether it's a round toy or a ball that you have. The next item I need is a picture of your targets. What lightweight items did you use as your targets? And the last thing I need is your rolling pose. Show me how you looked when you were rolling your objects. Were you low? Was your hand back? Was your opposite foot forward? Put that in your seesaw activity. I can't wait to see the great work that you all are doing. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.